Now, there is a Rakeda update. Actually, there might have been more Rakeda updates than I have slotted up. Let me check real quick. I want to say that I had something else. I did. Sorry, let me get back to that real quick. Okay, so here's a summary of Rakeda's happenings, courtesy of Autistic Right. Um, the, there was a interesting new matter of public record attached, which has become a meme. And there was a transcript attached to that. Did I read this? No, I did not. It was on Sunday. Uh, so there was a hearing on the 6th of June. Uh, April M. Holt took the stand on, um, in, in defense of Rakeda. So Rakeda still has her down on lock as of June 6th. Uh, the cops had a warrant. They found cocaine, firearms, ammunition, and ketamine. Um... The police testified that Rakeda's um, household was disgusting. The uh, people testified that they had to step over dirty clothes um, in order to, to navigate around his house. So they described it as a, a disgusting place to be. Um, let's see... We already knew that that uh, the second youngest, who was eight and then turned nine, like right after, uh, tested positive for cocaine at the cutoff. Uh, Rakeda yelled objection instead of his own attorney, and the reason why he objected is because the they had a toxicology report, and Rakeda objected to someone who was not a toxicologist reading the interpreting the numbers. So the whole thing that says. Uh, the eight-year-old had cocaine in her system at 5,000 picograms per milligram, uh, 10 times the cutoff. He said, objection, objection. I need a true toxicologist to tell me that 5,000 is greater than 500 and 500 is greater than zero. Uh, objection. And uh, I think the judge even said something snarky like, are, are you his attorney or is he representing himself? Because he kept like interrupting the, the judge at some point. Um, Alicia Sweep, who has the funniest name in the case, said that uh, it's the consequence of our actions while ho uh, hugging her oldest son. So Alicia Sweep testified that Rakeda, uh, Rakeda's wife said this to uh, her oldest son. Um, the foster care parents, so apparently the kids are divvied up. No one person can handle all, all five kids. So the grandparents on both Rakeda's side and Kayla's side um, have taken custody of some of the kids. Um, uh, they were required to take substance awareness training. And the purpose of this is that they are not educating them on anything except how to recognize intoxication because they're instructed to not allow Rakeda's to see their kids unless they're sober as part of the, um, custody hearing. And they have to take, in order to be the custodian of the kids, they have to undergo a uh, awareness training program so that they can see the signs of inebriation. This is what he, this person looks like drunk. This is how a person talks when high on cocaine and so on and so forth so that they can say, you're not allowed to see the kids. You're not in a good state of mind right now. Um, the Kennedy, Ohio County Health and Human Services uh, asked for hair follicle tests from Baldo and Kayla. Um, and they said no. So the, um, I don't think they had a requirement that they had to do this. I, I'm not sure what the technicality is, but the, the plainly the state was not pleased by this. Um, they said that they will have to do uh, usage assessments to maintain cust or visitation rights of their kids. Um, and when Alicia Sweep, the CPS woman, was touring their house, she was denied access to his bedroom. Um, and Rakeda has repeatedly testified that um, Alicia Sweep is lying under oath about this. And from what I understand, and I could be wrong, uh, when she was in the house, he, he allowed her into the house to, to see it. She's as a as a CPS lady. She can't apparently cannot force her way into the house. It's not a warrant. It's not a police officer. 
but um, they wanted to see the, ch the children and assess their living condition. Um, Alicia Sleep wants to do a tour of the house. Um, he allows her through the house, and her testimony is the one about how um, there were clothes and shit just all over the place, and it was hard to walk on without stepping on something. Um, and she asked to see their bedroom, and Riketa said no. And um, uh, Alicia Sweep testified that she was denied access to her bedroom, and Riketa has on stream, like the day after he got out of jail and did like a stream, he said that she lied under oath because she asked to see it, and he said no, but he didn't like physically block her from entering the room. So he's saying that she's misrepresenting that she was denied access because he didn't like physically force her to not access his bedroom. Um, so he's uh, he's accusing her of uh, of false testimony, which is important because of a thing I'll get to in a second. Um, I made a statement last stream, which I'm sure he heard because it got clipped to Alyssa Clips. Shout out who I think he watches every single thing about him that gets posted to Alyssa Clips' channel. Um, and one of the things that I said repeatedly was that I would accept an affidavit from Makeda uh, to consent to the release of the body cam footage, which requires either A, to be released into evidence, or B, to um, have one of the parties involved, any of them, it could be one of the state people, but that's a hard ask or any of the people present to consent. I explained this before April, Kayla and Riketa could all consent to the release of the footage from the government. They do not. Um, Riketa messaged me on signal. He gave me the, the Baldo signal and sent me a missive about um, his statements. And his statement was that he petitioned the chips case, the child custody case to be sealed and because it is sealed, um, if he were to consent to the release uh, of, of the body cam footage, that would look really bad for him, especially if it was for the Kiwi Farms, because we're a Nazi doxing murder site or something. Uh, and he said that he the footage would exonerate him, but the layout of the house, having a layout of the house be on the internet, would just show the court how how um reckless he is with the well-being of his children not to say that the fucking layout of the house isn't on zillow which it was that you can't get the layout of the house from public records which you can and not to say that having co your child test positive for co cocaine is reckless endangerment because that also is um, and then he also went on to say that I fled the U.S. for unknown reasons, and also that the Kiwi Farms was a bunch of lolly avatars. So I don't know what he's implying there. It was a kind of ridiculous statement, and I just let it slide. Um, actually, I didn't. I, I in my reply to him, I was pretty fucking hostile, and I said, you know, it's not my fault that this happened to you. I didn't. I didn't put cocaine in your room. I didn't have the hot wife over. I didn't expose your kids to cocaine. You did that. Um, and then he got snippy or whatever. He, he does this really annoying thing in messages where <laughs> he says peace, like peace. He does like a monologue, sends me like three or four very, very long messages and says peace. And then I'll reply. And then he has to get the last word. So he just replies back. <laughs> it's like, I thought you were done, bro. You said peace. <laughs> um, I don't know. He's just, he's just such like an aggressive dickhead now. It's unbelievable. Um, But... Not to take uh, anything on the chin. Today was the day, chat. Now comes Joshua Moon. Pursuant to General Practice Rule 402D and other authorities cited herein and moves for the permission to audio and video record all future proceedings in this matter of broadcast and dissemination of these proceedings to the public at large. Uh, Riketa's omnibus hearing is on the 28th of August. And Hardin has put together this lovely 10-page, um, basically kind of an intervention in Riketa's criminal case, to say it should be public. And there are quite a good number of reasons why it should be public, um, not least of which is that we have six affidavits from various uh, journalists and attorneys across the great country of the United States, uh, in particular, Sean signed an affidavit for us. I think Legal Mindset also signed an affidavit for us. Um, the The documents are in the thread right here if you want to go through and see everyone who signed it. There was a couple people who were just like, you know, 
fans of Rakeda who signed it out of nowhere because I put out the message on Zitter while I still had it. Um, but Sean in particular went out of his way. I went out of my way to sign an affidavit saying that I w would be interested. Um, and in addition, by the way, the same day, and this is why we were held up on this, is that uh, there is a prior post, if I can find it, where... Oh, by the way, don't look at that. That's my really shitty handwriting. There's a story behind that, and it's funny, so I'm going to keep it for a rainy day. <laughs> uh, right before this happened, we had just received something. One of our requests, this was sent on a thumb drive, and we had to wait for it to arrive in the fucking mail in the District of Columbia. And what it is is a 30, it's actually 128 megabytes of, of files. Um this is a list of all FOIA requests. It has a different name in Minnesota, but it's basically just the FOIA. It's a list of all FOIA requests made to um, Candy, Ohio County, asking for the, the footage. This is 578 pages. A lot of it's duplicates, but there are a lot of journalists. There's journalists from the UK. There's a true crime lady in Connecticut. Ewu, by the way, I've made fun of Ewu on the podcast for the What's New Ewu crew. Today, we have a truly, um, truly disgusting case of child neglect that will send a chill down your spine. A once prominent YouTuber by the name of Nicholas Ricada, high with 100,000 concurrent live viewers, was now high on cocaine, as was his child. Ewu, Ewu Storytime or Ewu Media. It's Ewu Media um, asked for the Ricada footage and for his arrest records and documents. So there were a couple, and they have a 5.8 million subscriber channel on YouTube. They were the most prominent person in this. Uh, but there are also a couple journalists and stuff too. So these all ended up in the report at the last second. We said we have all this uh, interest in the case that bolsters our claim. And this is my, this is my cheekiness. This is a cheeky, not to say that it's not true. But it is cheeky, chat. Um, Ricada, the defendant, has stated that all trials should be televised to protect the integrity of judicial proceedings in American democracy more generally. Mr. Ricada, since his release, has alleged that Candy Ohio County and its employees have committed a grave injustice against him, alleging by name that a child children's services supervisor from the Candy Ohio County Health and Human Services, Alicia Sleep, lied under oath to harm his case. Um, and I cannot, <laughs> I cannot click that. Hold up, give me a second. It's funny, so I'm gonna find it real quick. Um, I think it's one of the last ones. If not, oh, it's also on my profile, so I'll just go to my profile real quick. And then it's at 900 seconds, so. Th Right here. Actually, I can just charges will be dealt with in course. Oh, 1549. Duh. Many of you are saying about... You're trying to do math like a fucking retard. When you do take a moment and you work with government and you can find this in the recently leaked documents and you cooperate by say asking them to come into your home they will lie under oath to the judge that's right alicia sweep they will lie under oath to the judge they will fabricate a situation that did not occur they will lie about your willingness to cooperate they will lie about things that you said. They will generate statements said by other people out of nothing because I was there and that wasn't said. So, they will violate chat. the rules of evidence. <laughs> Vote one if you believe that the Ricada hearing should be public to protect uh, Ricada from Alicia Sleep. Can we get vote no, vote two if you don't think that the hearing should be public and he has nothing to worry about? I think, I mean, just from his, just from that, what I just heard right there, that's pretty clear. 
you know, it may not be a grand criminal conspiracy, but he is alleging in a way that this woman conspired against him and lied under oath to disadvantage him in court proceedings, what you could call malfeasance in a legal sense. Pretty dire, Chad. I don't think anyone should be subjected to government malfeasance. And I think that if the government is being malfeasant, um, the public must step up and hold them accountable, Chad, which is why uh, we are 105 <laughs> votes for yes, 110 votes for yes, and three votes for no. One of the most slam dunk votes polls ever. I can't believe it. 97.4% yes. I think that's a resounding answer. Candy, Ohio County, take notice um and then a lot of this is just um the technicalities because he goes over the, the the precedent for this is this a thing that we can actually legally do here's why we can do it um but in particular i'll just read the last of that paragraph uh, permitting Mr. Moon to record these proceedings and broadcast them via audiovisual means will ensure the interests of all involved are protected including Mr. Cato's Due to the magnitude of interest in attending these proceedings, it is likely physically impossible for all interested to attend these proceedings without technological assistance. Public access to these proceedings via electronic means will promote transparency, educate the public, and have a salutary effect on all involved. I personally would have more trust in my government if I could see the proceedings chat. There you go. You can read the entire thing on the forum, um, as well as the binder, in case you want to see who else wrote in the message. Uh, interestingly enough, um, my... Thing as well shows up as a uh, uh, our thing shows up as well. Um, so it was me asking for help real quick. That's him making fun of my signature. <laughs> and then finally, Kayla was offered a plea deal at the last second. Um, I don't think the details of the plea deal are known yet. So um, who knows what it is that they're offering her. Uh, they might be going easy on her or, you know, it could be anything. A plea deal can really be almost anything as long as it's within the bounds of the law. So uh, who knows? Who knows what they're trying to do? What kind of evil government malfeasant type thing, situation type deals will be going on? I probably should feature that, huh? I will, actually. I'll do it like this, Ricardo. I wait. Should I say I? I don't know how because it's the it's the feature tagline. If I say I, any mod can feature it. I don't want to say Joshua Moon because that's me. That's a weird. That's a weird way. I'll say we, Royal We, including you, chat. We have submitted to Candio. Shit, Candio High County, a request. To make Ricada's omnibus hearing on the 28th public by live stream. Technically, I guess it could be any kind of audiovisual recording, but I'll say live stream. We chat. We we. <laughs> I'm sure Ricada will be thrilled. <laughs> um, I can't. By the way, there's a there's a really stimpy quote in this. Um, I wonder if I can find, just real quick, since I'm feeling snippy, snippy, snappy. Um, there was one from Sean. Nope, that's Harden. Robert Schilling. That is definitely not Sean. Jacob Maffey. Ray Pierce. Where's Sean? Sean! 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 There he is. Sean! Uh, I think he says, I am a lowercase i internet journalist. Throw this out. He fucked it up. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, attorney licensed in the state of Ohio. I'm an internet journalist, commentator on legal issues, and frequently appear in videos. Um, bah, bah, bah. I have been closely following and covering the above caption case that was filed against the defendant during my coverage of the case. I have it covered average so far 5,000 off, tooting his own horn there on my YouTube channel under that name with approximately a hundred thousand additional viewers able to watch my videos at later times. I desire to attend all proceedings in the above caption criminal case. 
um, I believe my audience is also interested in the proceedings of this matter. The interest I share with my audience is that matter in large part due to the defendant Nicholas Riqueta and his status as a legal commentator himself. Um, talks about the Amber Heard thing. I think I even mentioned in my thing. I, I clearly this. I don't know if, uh, if um, what's his face if, <laughs> if Harding kept it in. Uh, I did say that he was even included in the Depp v. Heard uh, Netflix documentary. I support the petition of Joshua Moon. That's very nice. Um, I want to say there's a part of this. Yeah, no, it doesn't include the bit that I thought. It just yeah, he he wrote his own. By the way, we handed out a um a template to people who would be interested, and I want to say he's the only one that like just completely rewrote his thing. Besides me, of course, I am an adult, technically incompetent, technically to testify. I'm the sole member. Blah blah blah. Here's my website. It's at st. The Kiwi Farms, of course, is an uppercase I internet forum chat. Um, it says, over the years, I have personally appeared, I guess I should read mine. I forgot what I wrote. It's been so long. I had personally appeared on stream with Mr. Riccato multiple times to discuss my website and other newsworthy events he was covering at that time. Because of my deep and longstanding interest in Mr. Riccato and the, int in that, in the interest that is shared by Local LLC and its customers. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know why I called you guys customers. <laughs> I mean, I guess you are, technically. You guys are my customers, chat. I desire to attend all proceedings in the above captioned criminal case in Kenny, Ohio County, and to comment on such proceedings. I suspect that those who use Kiwi Farms would benefit from my commentary and would be interested in these proceedings in Mr. Arcata's response to the current charges which he faces. Mr. Arcata previously commented upon trials and broadcast his commentary on various social media platforms. Notable trials which Mr. Arcata included, uh, Rittenhouse, Jep D. Heard. Um, this, this is the one that I wanted to find. Mr. Arcata has always expressed a healthy skepticism of the government. In a live stream Mr. Riccata shared on YouTube on June 19th, 2024, Mr. Riccata spoke to a live audience of 6,000 viewers for the first time since his arrest. In that live stream, he outlined parts of his defense, alleging broad government malfeasance and directly accusing a state social worker named Alicia Sweep of lying under oath specifically to deprive him of parental rights. In the past, Mr. Riccata had advocated that all trials be made public with recent allegations of state and local government conspiracy against him. It would be an immense benefit to the public trust for criminal proceedings against Mr. Riccata to be made public to the greatest extent possible under law. It would be difficult for me to travel to Minnesota, yeah, no shit, uh, to view these proceedings, and even if I and others who are interested did make the trip to Minnesota, it is unlikely that all the interested individuals be able to physically fit in the courtroom. I mean, just me and Sean would fill that fucker out. We gotta make some space here. We gotta throw some benches out <laughs> if we want to fit more people in. Um, on information and belief, it would be equally difficult or even more difficult for those who wish to view the trial and my commentary upon it to travel to Minnesota to view the proceedings personally. Um... To, to, to demonstrate the broad interest in the proceedings, I asked people who are interested in attending the trial to sign a petition online. This petition received over a thousand signatures within hours and currently sits at 2,369. We we're going to fill this in like the first week, by the way, but um, I just capped it off early. This is representing only a small intersection of interest between our audiences. The true size of interest in the charges against Mr. Arcata is magnitudes larger, but it would be impossible for even 2,000 people to personally attend these proceedings due to the size of the courtroom and the inability of the court to accommodate so many people without disrupting its operations. I ask that the court permit me to access these proceedings via audio and video means, and I believe that if my request is granted, it will facilitate thousands of people in attending these proceedings. Um, so what that means, finally, in conclusion chat, is that if granted, the court kind of has its choice of how it chooses to do things. The, the smartest and easiest thing for it to do, because um, I think they already have their own system, is to simply live stream it like on YouTube or something. They probably have the capacity to do that. If they don't, if push really comes to shove and they're like, okay, fine, you can live stream it, but you got to do it yourself. We're fucking busy. You got to come in here and you got to set up the shit. I might have to figure out who the fuck I'm going to send. I'm going to have to select a champion of the Kiwi farms to go forth and conduct audiovisual recordings on my behest. Um, now, there's a couple names. I already mentioned Aaron M. Holt. He already agreed that he would uh, testify, or not testify, 
He would he would do the recording. Someone said that not to do him because he's he's bad at it. <laughs> he's not good at setting up the camera and shit. So, um, uh, Medicur was nominated by his fans to be my champion, to to roll in with the highest quality, high fidelity camera possible. Um, maybe Jade can help set that up. That would be a good pick as well. Um, I think Sean even personally said he would he would go and attend. There was somebody who was really nearby, I think it might have even been Sean, who said that he would fly out to, to fucking the middle of nowhere, Minnesota, to record the, the hearing. So th- I'm just saying this is like several steps removed. This is if it gets approved and also they say you got to do it yourself, fuck you. Um, <laughs> if that happens, then it's like, okay, now we got some crunch time. Who are we going to send? Maybe we can send Alyssa. You think Alyssa Close will do it? If I pay for if I pay for her plane and send her out to to <laughs> That's the funniest one, I think. Because I think it would really piss Ricardo off if it was Alyssa Clips in the courtroom. <laughs> she might even do it too. Then I'd be able to swing it. Um God, that is funny. That's a funny thought, actually. I like that. Alright. We have some what I'm saying is we got some options, chat. Well, maybe it'll be uh this will this will be the final battle of Jim's driveway. We'll send Jim and Alyssa Clips and, and Sean and Aaron and then a bunch of people will show up like uh Ralph decides What you what you mean? What do you think you mean sending a woman in to do a man's job, boy? I'm flying up there with my camera and this is gonna be a kill stream exclusive. And of course Ralph showing up in Minnesota, well, that's right next to fucking Canada, so then you got PPP and Andy Worski coming down. And it'll just snowball like that. More and more people will show up to the Kennedy High County, <laughs> completely defeating the purpose of the, the filing to open the the case. Obviously that's hyperbole. It will be a orderly production and no disruption to the trial will occur. I'm speaking uh speaking from a comedic standpoint. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!